you know, Mayor Two is like calling people, talking shit, like, "Hey, fuck you, bitch! And c- tr- come try and get me." No, no, no I don't and have that a worry. City Hall. Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not expressing a, a counter or a worry. Uh, and and I, God, however I say this is gonna sound like victim blaming. Um, I may we suggest chose this while we took. The no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I I will just say, uh, there are there are a couple options here. Uh, number one, in the interim, uh, I may suggest that if you know you are being targeted, um, it, it is perfectly reasonable that maybe we take meetings or hold audiences, uh, past the metal detectors on the second floor. Uh, I can talk to the construction folks about maybe putting them at the front doors can I get locks um, on my office door, please? <laughs> be, well, because well, because if you pass by the second floor into the inner, you know, innards of the building, uh, mm-hmm. the guards take your, you know, weapons. Mm, I, I, um, I noticed for workers. councilmen and women now it, it, that that's no longer the case. Obviously, the aides would still be SOL, but, but uh, yeah, we 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 could go through metal detectors now, just fine, similar to judges and police officers. Yeah, look, if oh, if nice. I if if I got a gun. In, in a spot where these motherfuckers get their shit taken, then that is perfectly acceptable to me. Yeah. I just don't want there to be a, a case where we feel like we can't work out of here because there are people that are yeah, circling like vultures. 100%. I'm just I'm advocating for the concept that uh, cop car, so yeah. as much as I, I enjoy the whole like sitting on the front steps thing, uh, it's kind of playing with fire. Um, yeah, I don't. Okay, well. <laughs> I'm going to start playing with language and roll out ideas in a document. Do we want to go over other stuff while I do that? Uh, yeah. So, I I mean, it doesn't giving us all a weapons license doesn't have to be something that's even, like, written, right? Like, for this little trial phase. It's correct. So, what I was going to write is my idea for now is I, as the licenses are the purview of the DOJ, I will... Uh, we don't even need to make it legislation. What we'll do to make it more subtle is we will update the punishments surrounding uh, firearms, specifically what Malton discussed about uh, making it a per se criminal act of accessory to have your firearm stolen, not report it, and then a crime committed with it. We already have that somewhat in that if uh, currently the way that it works, just so everyone's informed, there are two charges. There's criminally negligent ownership of a firearm in the second degree, which is where your firearm is stolen, Why is it found it on someone else that's not you, and you didn't report. You can't just say it's stupid. And if that happens there. three like, times, then your firearm's license is removed. It's fine. However, criminally negligent ownership of a firearm in the first degree states that if your firearm is stolen, you don't report it, and a violent crime occurs with that firearm, then you automatically lose your firearm. Uh, So what we will do is we'll add a provision to both second and first degree to state that any crime, not just uh, violent ones, so let's say somebody's out there uh, leaving without paying and they've got your gun on them or anything else absurd, right? Reckless evading and they've got your gun on them. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's like half to prevent people from being dumb and griefing and to prevent people from targeting the same people over and over. And that's an issue because, like, again... It has to be with your firearm. Okay, I'll tinker with that. Normally, um, when somebody goes so I'll, to war, I'll it should be, and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll one round on both sides. And then maybe it lasts one to finish it. Mm-hmm. But people keep going at each other, forth and back, forth and back, forth and back, forth and back, until somebody folds, rather than just leaving it. Hey, April. Uh, so, City Council document uh, 2020. There's a lot on here, so I apologize. I went over these last night. They all look good to me. Um, making criminal possession of a class one a felony, upping all three possessions. Uh, as it has been stated previously, we have already, as a PD, recovered firearms that have been uh, yeah. tampered with. <clears throat> as in, the serial number has been scratched off, and we are unable. Like, what to is the reason for this person kidnapping from? Max again? I believe that also needs and again, to be and now a third time maybe. Like, what's the uh, reason? We arrested somebody who had components, we believe, of a firearm, uh, which 
which Jason, uh, we potentially think could be used in the uh, building of firearms. Why? Why is that one in bold? Is that because the charge doesn't exist? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Sorry. Um. So I'm proposing criminal possession of firearm components. Again, the language in that is. I'm open to. Oh, I don't care about the charges because, per se. You know, that is, not that is for Korean and make Nikoda to figure out. Logistically, is it? Uh, I I don't know if this is on on your list somewhere, but couldn't you just loop components in with accessories, or do you think that the the time and fine needs to be this high on um, the components? Uh, I believe they should be that high. Yes, because uh, I think if someone's going to go through the trouble of uh, procuring these, then they should be facing the consequences. Well, no, I, I agree. I'm just saying, like, why? I, I guess what I'm getting at is what for uh, a, a Glock slider, let's say. Why, why is that worth 35 months where an extended mag is only worth, uh, you know, whatever the charge currently, like 12 or something? Oh, so you're talking about... Uh, Weapons attachments. Attachments. Attach These are... Yeah, com so, so the uh, components are specifically the pieces that are used to build the actual firearm yeah. itself, not... Uh, not this is from accessory. Jason being caught with the parts. Or, uh, like I, I want to be, I want to just be careful here, Nakota, because yep. Uh, what what's the impetus be behind making all these so high? Uh, deterring people from being in criminal possession of them. No, no, I mean like everything, like manufacturing moonshine is a hundred months, forty five hundred dollars. Well, that I need. That's like a murder charge. With. I need uh, I need help on that one because while moonshine is illegal, uh, right now under the current law, there's no manufacturing charge. So <clears> if we see a still out in uh, the middle of nowhere, we can't do anything about it. Why are the components more than a whole full gun? Well, no, I, I guess. Uh, hold on. So I'm, I'm making a larger point, which is in a vacuum, right? Numbers are being thrown out for some of these charges. And the more that we throw out numbers that don't fit with the current charging scheme, the more that it makes it just seem like everything needs to be increased. And the numbers... Oh, shit. Uh, I don't know. I, I just... It... I mean, like, I, 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 I'm not a cop, you know, I, I don't have access to, to all the, the reports anymore, but, like, Class one, class two, class off. three positions, uh, government employees being being targeted. Is, is this is this really? It's always a concern, but is it like a uh, trending upward? Or, like I I don't know what I want to say. Like is, is this becoming like a, a huge issue? <laughs> like like all these things. And, it, and it, the other the other like thing is increasing numbers just to increase numbers. Right. That's what I'm pointing out. And the other thing I'm, I'm trying to point out is that uh, I think some of them are just placeholder numbers. God. We live in a city where no matter how high you make some of these numbers, people are going to do these things. And just constantly increasing the numbers across the board, uh, I don't know what it really does. Uh, that's fair. The only thing I will say is two weeks ago, we sat here and made speeding a thousand dollar ticket and everyone was quite happy with that. So. But that is because we loosened the regulations yeah, re regarding yeah. speeding, right? And that was also in response to, uh, not response, but it's very clear there was a lot of speeders going on in the city. We, as the city council, decided to address that by making changes to the speeding oh, no, laws. I, I mean, you're, you're the liaison. That, that's why I'm asking. Is there a lot of reckless endangerments going on? Is there a lot of first that's, degree and yeah. second degree murders going on? That's that... what gets me. I understand if we want to discourage guns still. It's been nice with people not having them, but like, uh, why does that mean suddenly we have to increase unlawful imprisonment by $2,000 and things like that, you know? Look, I'll just, I'm, I'm going to say this as easily as I can. There are some considerations with times and fines that are going to go beyond the council that, uh, you know, may just have to be adjusted. And uh, we can vote on whatever we want. We can make the changes. But, you know, I can't guarantee that uh, there isn't a need in terms of the DOJ's side to balance some of these things. I I, I am perfectly fine with discussing some of these new laws uh, that uh, may, may need to be put in effect because, you know, we, we just don't have laws on the books. But at, at, in a general sense, I, I'm against all these increases, and, and unless there's a, a real like public safety concern that we're just not aware of. 
the other the other thing to consider when I'm just speaking from experience dealing with uh, times and fines. No. Is that the, the conversation I have with Tommy you look was at a crime I and you disagree go, That's with some of crime. it. That should be because you can make money. He, he made five grand, uh, but we have guns. to remember that crimes are money. not committed in vacuums. And he did and two runs in, in clusters, That's ten grand. Right? Mm -hmm. So when it's determining the times and fines, and, it takes and this a while maybe going to too into the weeds, do it. It's often good to look at scenarios rather than individual. Yeah. For example, it's six robbery. So under the current. Uh, His point that it's 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 grindy and you're just by yourself is valid though. Hold on. So with these upgraded charge proposals, let's say uh, they do it with a firearm, a class one firearm, so that's fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, they robbed a uh, group six employee. So that's five thousand dollars, doesn't he? They're then found with the cash on them from the robbery. That's thirty five hundred dollars. I'm I'm just pointing out it's very likely that I could easily articulate how a group six robbery could be fined like twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, which I don't know if. Uh, Hey, you know, it would stop crime. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm not against increases to the firearm possessions, because, like I said, I, I, if that's something we want to try to limit, uh, that's great. Uh, but I, I think, uh, yeah, you've lost me with the rest. I don't know if I can. Uh, yeah, so I, I, is there a way to is there a way to distinguish in here which one I mean I can kind of do it myself but which ones are new charges new charges oh you have it labeled yeah you put them at the bottom yeah uh, okay so the whole moonshine thing is very new to me um, do we know what the I guess the yeah. effects of it are other than getting you drunk on I agree that it might be a bit too long uh, as a single uh, person yeah, doing it that's eventually. it's boring as shit if you could do it as two oh, people that would be different than you know like brain cells. Like but yeah yeah and and yeah. smoking but it's also one of the reasons that civilians should matter being a civ should matter you know it's a balance act. It will always be a balance act. I might be okay with moonshine being yeah. legal, like, personally, and unless there's something I'm missing here. That, yeah, that's why I'm asking for, like, you know, is it is it something, like, is it an epidemic? Is it actually, like, harming people? Um, that's kind of my thing, because, like, with manufacturing uh, yeah, it I mean, and... I mean, Kermit, you're, you're basically <clears throat> doesn't an moonshine make you blind? you know, equivalent. Like, is, is there an epidemic going on up in Polito with, with moonshiners? An epidemic? I mean, I've heard nah. people talking about it quite often, but like, I don't hear anybody actually consuming it. So, so mm -hmm. if, if it's okay with at a crime, yeah, is why people ahead, watch yeah. this server. Uh, moonshine no. is normally only illegal. Because, people watch the server because you know role people play. make it on their own. If you're a crime watcher, then fine, on it. that's on you. But that is so, not the majority. Realistically, there's nothing wrong with moonshine besides. Actually, do we even have alcohol in the 24-7s or anything? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah okay. whiskey, yeah. Okay. rum. Yeah. yeah, it's the only thing that's like, Moonshine is just not taxed it's by the state. It's just non-regulated. Yeah, it's alcohol. not regulated. Yeah. So it's like, that's really, there's so nothing. It could be bad for people. It could be untaxed. Yeah. I'm going to be real. Moonshine doesn't do shit to hurt you. That's honestly like, fair. I like think we have to test that before we want to make it illegal. I, uh, like, all I've always been boring as fuck. <laughs> okay, I, I fuck think, yeah. All right. That is the mentality of going to jail and because you have to serve more than 10 minutes, it's boring. And it's not content. That shouldn't be the thing, though. Like, you shouldn't cater to that. You do crime because there is a chance you get caught and you go to jail. Like, if you didn't go to jail, it would be boring as shit. Manufacturing, I, uh, 
I, I don't know how, like, uh, I, I'm mm -hmm. just going to straight up ask you, uh, allegedly, Kermie. Uh, okay. Do, do, do these do these sills have to be operated, like, near a river for, like, the, the water or anything? Like, is there a reason why this sill can't just be in, like, a an approved business or approved location, right? Like, cause I have a problem with the manufacturing it on public land, for sure. But right. yeah, do you exactly. have a problem or you the don't have a problem? I, I do have if a problem. If there was no okay. downside to getting caught, you wouldn't have the rush. You wouldn't have the content. It would just be playing GT online. In the past, <clears throat> thanks to Crane giving me a law license for whatever reason he thought that was a good idea. Um, I don't think it should be illegal to make it or to possess it, but I do think it should be illegal to sell it. Well, that's what is I'm asking. Still is okay. Okay. okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Objection! I gotta, stop. I gotta say something. Stop. Okay. Everyone, Everyone, please. Stop for a second. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just don't want to fuck out this one. I, I'm, I'm great with you being here to take notes and all that. Yeah. But it is, it is wholly unfair to Siobhan and Alex and anyone else who's permitted to be in here who's not part of the council who is sitting here quietly taking notes for you to interject and have an opinion. It's not a personal thing, but we just got to keep. No, it's all consistent. good. I was just answering the question. My bad. Yeah, right. I know. So, um, okay. Uh, in terms of stills, I have a number of concerns because, as said, well, who cares? If you put it in your house. Uh, well, for example, uh, I care if people are setting up a clandestine still in their fucking apartment, and there's no regulation or understanding of the person operating it. And they could, I don't know, fucking explode it by overheating it and cause fire or damage or anything else. Yeah, there, that's why I asked. There's a specific they were reason I said house and not residence. I mean, even then, do we want people operating stills in residential neighborhoods? I, I got a, I got some firsthand experience with this. Chess. I ran across that. a uh, a guy and a lady, um, out in Sandy. I'm not smart enough for chess. He would beat my ass. And they were like, "Hey." We make moonshine. I was like, cool. They were like, you're not going to report me to the police? I was like, it's not illegal. And yeah. then they were like, and they were like, hey, you should make that illegal. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't moonshine how make it blind? Did this, how long ago yes. did this uh, moonshine shit surface? Like the talks of it, at least. It seems like two weeks ago. We've had the laws on the book for eight years. For eight years, and it's been two weeks? Since you guys have heard about this shit, since my first personal encounter with the, someone, I dealt with I dealt with moonshine well before yes. the collapse. Wait, so my, I guess this question is more from the coda than has there been like any. Was it says it Aaron? A no way. And with moonshine, re, like within those two. Weeks? Uh, we're actively catching people with it on their person. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's just the possession. Like, like, possession are they inherently doing you. other illegal stuff with it that that you know well, of? Well. I'm saying they're actively engaging in crime and we're catching them with it on their person. So, uh, I, I, have, I have some, some additional that's, crime job. that's why it's so awkward um, to talk about. I, I've had maybe three or four different people talk to me about this because they're pretty bold about it, considering it's not illegal to, to make it, right? Uh, they said it's made with dirty sewer water. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, Reed gave me a bottle of dirty sewer water. Oh, I have heard. Oh. Yeah, there's oh, a lot of... All, I think all the ingredients is from the sewer, Or just right? dirty d dirty water in general. I think it's like I, all I'm dirty not... shit you use to make it. Yeah, we should just make the manufacturing illegal because the only way to not make the manufacturing illegal is to set standards for the manufacturing of moonshine, and I am not creating what it amounts to a fucking EPA. Oh, so Wait, isn't I it mean, just a license to produce, too. like, alcohol in... I mean, on it. top of that, even though we haven't really heard about people consuming it as of yet, doesn't mean that they're not, and it doesn't mean in the future that they're not going to get sick due to it. Well, once again, I'm, I'm circling back to the, the good old classic you're, 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 you're not yelling. conversation. If, if, if we want to... You need to yell. ATF. Sorry about that. that. I, I'm, I'm going to circle back again to cigarettes. Like, if, if, if we if we don't want people going oh. out of the sewers, if we don't yeah, want alcohol, people blowing tobacco, up houses, and firearms, I, 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 I could get yeah. behind that, but uh, at a base level, I, I think possession of it should be decriminalized. If you want to fuck up your own body by drinking moonshine, that hey, that's your prerogative as a citizen, the same as uh, smoking and, and any other vice that people may do. You, you're going to lose everyone as soon as you say... Uh, moonshine should be decriminalized, and then people are going to ask me for medical marijuana dispensaries, and I'm pull out my legally registered firearm, and uh, that's the end of the story. 
I mean, yeah, pe well, people are already going to ask for certain things to be decriminalized. Like, the, the question is, where, where do we draw the line? Uh, my line is uh, cigarettes and moonshine are okay, personally. Shouldn't the production no, no. of alcohol That's so be, American. Shouldn't the production of alcohol be done Please. under, like, clean circumstances and everything just to make sure it's, you know, not dangerous? Again, yeah, that, like that's, what, that's what Crane was we saying. We really yeah. want to create, like, a... The uh, EPA. Yeah, well, we, yeah. we, 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 mm, it, who wants to FDA, do that? FDA, EPA. Do that. It, it wouldn't be easy to just say, oh, don't yeah. fucking wow. do that shit in your backyard. If you want, you have a business. I mean, and who it, who inspects it, who oversees it, who writes the... Nobody, because we will never never accept it. But then, like, oh, what, then what, what, then what, 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 the ingredients to make cigarettes are not illegal. You know, you've got you've got tobacco plants and whatnot. I mean, m apparently what, what there's still What is the illegal water. ingredient in making moonshine? I mean, it's not necessarily illegal, but I, mm. I mean, sewer water. If it's sewer that's, water and sewer that's ingredients, up. that's pretty nasty. If it's, and cigarettes that would are never up. that would never get that would never get approved. Of all people, all. he's. I think the argument would be when a business sells alcohol, it is under certain stipulations, right? Like it has to meet certain requirements and, and yeah. be under certain levels. If someone is just going into the sewers, grabbing whatever shit they want, going back to their house, uh, making something that no one sees or regulates, and then selling it to somebody, that's a little bit different than if Jack Daniels sells you a bottle of whiskey. I, I yeah. think we're all missing the point. I, I think a lot of us are agreeing that we, we can't manufacture this point. I'm saying possessing it and drinking it, uh, that, that that is an individual choice that should be up to the individual, not regulated by the government. So... I think we should regulate the safety of others. That's why we regulate firearms and, and drug uses from tweakers or anything like that. But people aren't getting fucking wasted on moonshine and then going out <laughs> causing public disturbance. But if we, if we decriminalize possession, aren't we encouraging the market? Correct. <laughs> we're encouraging the illegal manufacturer because we're making a decriminalized legal market of buyers. Yeah. I mean, that's just an argument to never change anything that's currently illegal to possess currently. We're, we're not encouraging the, the production of it. We're saying, hey, uh, it's, it's your choice, man. If you, if you want to drink some moonshine uh, and not c commit any other crimes, why, is he always why should we as the government try to stop you from so doing wait, that? So no, wait, I disagree, though. You're, you're saying that if manufacturing is illegal... But possession is decriminalized. How is it? Wait, what? You don't see how there's a different size of market if possession was criminalized? I see what you're saying, but I, I, I don't think the, uh, I, I still think the individual right to there's do no what you want with what, 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 cigarettes what would you or miss moonshine to me? or even, you know, marijuana, if we want to go that far. I, I oh, just there think is. it's a personal choice at the end of the day. And if people want to do, consume that kind of stuff. Hey man, it's uh, it's oh. your body. You're gonna fuck it I up mean, in the long term, but that's your choice. You could start applying that to everything, though. Then why not make yeah, where a does it end? meth legal, a position of where heroin, that end? position of metamorphy. Why not? You know, it ends because it's certain problem. drugs are public health concern. Traditionally, we are okay with marijuana. So is moonshine. People... Yeah. People go blind. I meth, PCP, uh, metamorphine, uh, bath salts, wh whatever you want to call it. People tweak out on this shit, and they, they go on fucking rampages, okay? People are okay with weed, because people just chill out in their fucking house and, and smoke it all day, or, or pop their edible, or whatever the fuck they do. Uh, I have yet to see an example of people getting uh, just wasted on moonshine, and just going out and committing a tear on it. You know, if, if we're saying... What kind You've never of... been to West Virginia, though. <laughs> You're right, I haven't, which is why I'm giving my opinion based off of my experience. I may or may not have just council. taken a sip. I'm, so... saying if, if, <laughs> I'm saying that in terms of the effects of it on your body and what it causes to the general public, it is much closer to weed and cigarettes than it is to meth. Right, correct. But the, the, the part that I'm not, I'm not concerned about the individual making the action. I'm concerned about if you have a large population How do you of just consumers. Take a... How where it just is decriminalized, without anyone seeing it. and then you make it, you know, extremely expensive and highly regulated to be part of the manufacturing process for a decriminalized substance, much like I don't know marijuana. 
you then run into a situation where it is more profitable to hire a bunch of goons with illegally tampered firearms what does it to look operate like a ring it, out of is it like a moonshine bottle to produce marijuana and moonshine than it is to be a regulated part of the economy. And I think that by encouraging a decriminalized populace for a criminal substance, you are essentially encouraging that criminal gang network activity. I think it's because he's trying to say that it's so in the same league of things that it should be banned. A, um, I guess a reasonable time and fine for the manufacturing of the moonshine. I'm completely open to uh, anyone's thoughts on that. So. Uh, what is the charge for cultivation? It's a felony that's 25 months, $940. What is the charge for? So the manufacturing charge you have set to far, far higher. It looks like yeah, we can, we, similar. I, I, yeah. Yep. I have no issue with that. Right now, yeah. felony possession with intent to distribute for drugs is $10,000, 150 months. These are these are offenses against public health and morals, which is where this would follow. Right. Forgery of medical documents, two thousand. Cultivation of marijuana, one thousand. Prostitution, twenty five hundred. I would say that since we're not arguing uh, an intent to sell or anything, it, it probably doesn't. Make any <laughs> oh, he's doing it again. <laughs> oh, so probably closer to the cultivation is my my thoughts. Like fifteen hundred, maybe, is in the middle. Yeah, 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 something like that. Time would looks like offenses against public health and morals were averaging anywhere between twenty-five and forty-five months. Yeah, the yeah. outliers are down there under ten. The outliers are above fifty, so twenty-five, forty-five, so thirty, yeah. thirty-five months, something like that. Yeah. Thirty-five, okay. fifteen hundred. Okay. okay, can anybody disagree with that? No, I think that's good. I don't think nope. It's too overbearing at all. I'm good with that. If it's ever a problem, it could be reassessed later. Is it a okay, thing? I will create that charge now. I'm going to go through, Nakota, your uh, council doc and just mark which things get enacted. That's uh, absolutely fine. What's the next charge on the list? Robbery of a security farm. For 50 months, 5K fine. Do we not have a suitable charge? Is there not anything that fits Nakota? Uh, I mean, isn't it that just like aggravated? Isn't it just aggravated theft or whatever? Uh, it's you you could define what happens to them at the vault as something already on the books. I think what Nakota is trying to push for is a harsher charge. I I'll be honest. I'm looking to get more specificity in these because it always seems like uh, how do I say this? The G6 robbery, so, that's aggravated petty robbery, isn't it? My thoughts are, why would this be more than more of a fine than robbery of a financial institution? Well, no, we can, again, I'm open to yeah. adjusting charges and whatnot. My main yeah, concern is to uh, uh, identify things that are becoming more prominent and, and making sure that they are addressed, like, directly. It, it, this is just aggravated petty robbery. Mm. Is that a charge? Yes. Regulatory robbery. Okay. Yes, it's currently at like thirty-six months and something. I I I don't know what the fine is, but it's it's basically when you Honestly, use, yeah. you know, weapons to rob any individual, not just a group six worker. So it's thirty-six months and a fourteen hundred dollar fine. Grand larceny. Grand yeah, and if you're robbing a group six worker, uh, you're, you're probably robbing two to four of them. <laughs> Don't times that by four. Up to four, I guess. Well, or... Does it stack individually? Yeah, Maldon, Maldon, if you were coming into the cells and I was charging someone with <laughs> four times aggravated petty robbery oh, for four individuals, that. would you yeah. would you let me do that or would you make an argument against that? For each individual, or would it just be for the incident I, itself? Are they I robbing? Do my job as an attorney and argue in Nakota. It just says you should do your job as a cop and push the charges you think are relevant. If you think a, a four times applies, you should definitely push it. If I don't, I should definitely push against it. And then if they want to contest it, that's what the courts are for. 
so you're yeah i wouldn't stand for it but that's my job okay. as a defense attorney to not stand for it well i'm asking you as a city councilman not as a defense attorney right now oh well then if you're asking me as a councilman uh i think that according uh to the charge it, it says just one person so yes everyone it, they should get 4x uh, by the definition of the law if they rob four group six workers what if they're only taking items out of the back of a vehicle then you argue that and then you argue okay. it. Okay. Uh, Nakota, I, I think what Malton's getting at is that there is a constant uh, push and pull between the DOJ and PD, uh, as has been forever, where PD wants everything spelled out perfectly so that there is no argument either way. Uh, and DOJ wants laws that are created with the understanding that the legislative body puts ideas into place and the judicial wing establishes the parameters of those ideas. Yeah, but you see, like, they don't... Look, no offense, Nicole, you sound very educated, but most cops haven't graduated, like, high school and shit. So <laughs> it, it, they need it spelled out for them. Mm, okay, and pallet is... Well, they can just lose in Per definition of more than a thousand, right? In the effort to know what they're doing. Do you stagger? <laughs> I, times. I, I also, uh, you know, this is uh, you know, obviously I'm an advocate for the DOJ here, but if uh, someone isn't going to make, you know, use of the, the rights that are known for them, I mean, stupidity goes both ways. If, if a cop is too stupid to push a charge, uh, that that's that's one thing. But also if the uh, suspect is too stupid to get a lawyer to contest those charges, that's also on them. OK, um, this is an excellent discussion. I don't, I'm not trying to cut anyone off, but we have a lot of shit to get through today. Uh, what's the main takeaway from this whole discussion? I, I think robbery of a security firm already exists. And yeah. aggravated uh, robbery. All right. Uh, let's do a quick vote because it seems contentious. Mm -hmm. uh, do we enact robbery of a security firm, blah, 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 person, thing? Nay. Uh, so uh, I vote yay. Uh, Nakota? I vote yay. Nay. Nay. Uh, Mr. Crane? What's the time and fine of the petty, aggravated petty robbery? 36 months and $1,400 fine. I think if you remove the... Possess oh, fuck. Okay, I think that much like robbery of a financial institution, I'd be okay with this charge. Uh, if we made it a blanket charge for the ease of oh. police. So okay. uh, for Mr. Thoroughbed's interpretation, uh, in the past, we used to have bank robberies. Uh, mm -hmm. Cops would need to charge for the joyridden vehicle, the possession of a gun, the possession of drugs, the hostage, the reckless evading, the potentially all those things, right? And what we did was we made one charge that encompasses the entire act. So, for example, we could make a higher time, higher fine charge, like robbery of a security firm, that just made it so that literally everything involved with robbing Group 6 would be one charge. So if you're caught robbing Group 6, you just get the, the one charge, that's it. It's high time, high fine, it's easy for the cop. The only time that would change is if it got violent, and there was, let's say, a stabbing or a shooting, and then everything would be broken out. Ooh. I would be okay with that. Uh, with the understanding that part of the all-inclusive charge would be the inclusion of the possession of the cash. Therefore, we could implement both charges. So the cash would be just, let's say you arrest someone for joyriding or or they're speeding or something and it's not their car, and then you find cash on them accidentally, you could still charge them and use that charge. But if you find them with the cash as part of the robbery of a security firm, then you would not use that charge. Yeah. Robbing uh, signing workers? I'm fine with making it an umbrella. I would be okay with that as well. I think that... I like that better. Fuck sandy workers. Um, is it still... Okay, so... Under robbery of a financial institution... Uh, Wait, part of it is, is, even is Crane gonna give us a, a weapons license for free? Could this not Did we just be score a free charge? weapons There was already a long hmm. debate about that. Well, that's what that. robbery of financial is, yeah. Exactly. Like, uh, could it not apply? That's a good question. Why isn't that being is used it... for Group Six? Yeah, uh, a because that it may was economic or tried. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all there. all I can say is there was a lot mm -hmm. of um, semantics about where they actually were when they were robbed. 
Yeah, but it, there's an or. That's what gets me. Like, uh, the first part, sure. Um, uh, in you know, institutional stability. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm so right. the fuck out. Any person or group mm -hmm. who enter a financial institution. Or. Uh -huh. There's a, there's I'm out front of the vault, like, and and this is actually a question that I'll ask all of you because I had this question presented to me as well. If I'm out in front of the vault in my Group Six van and I'm taking the pallets off the truck, but I'm not in the vault yet, or I'm not in the front yeah, door of the vault, yeah, because this was written when we didn't have cash transits. Okay. Right. So, do we want to just rewrite robbery of financial to to make it so the wording includes Group Six? Is that easier? I, I don't mind that easier. at all I don't mind be that. Fuck it. because yeah. at the end of the day, uh, as far as I'm aware, Group 6 is transporting cash for the banks. He's playing Rune Escape again, isn't he? <laughs> okay, so let's just change the language. Uh, is anybody not okay with change the language? Max, what do you think? Uh, I don't care, being honest. Um, I kind of liked it the uh, way that Nakota initially proposed, but then you spoke and everyone kind of changed their mind. Well, I will I will say, Mayor, that one of the reasons why I wrote it the way I did was because there was uh, contentious conversations within PD about whether or not robbing a Group 6 truck was robbery of a financial. Yeah. Um, and I that's like why I wrote it like that. that. But if, if, if we're going, if, if everyone well, is okay no, hold on. with it. No, no, no. I think... Mm -hmm. DXP? I think there's something we haven't thought of. Oh, no. yep. If we if we use robbery or financial and we change mm -hmm. the definition, and then let's say down the road these guys get more capable and more audacious, and they rob the actual city vault, there's no way that should be the same time and fine. I agree. So we. Right. Oh, fuck. I think back. it's a good idea. I think I think the the uh, the overall encompassing charge is a good idea. Plus, you know, once again. No offense, Dakota. But most cops are fucking stupid, and this would make it a lot easier for them to do their job. Okay, uh, I'll whip up uh, language that makes it all inclusive. Give me a sec. Okay. Uh, in the meanwhile, are we all in agreement that a, an all-encompassing charge for this particular crime is a good idea? Any nays? All right. Uh, unanimous. Good. Uh, let's keep this ball fucking rolling. I believe Mr. Simone was interrupted in regards to his uh, drip act. Well, yeah, well, I guess we were talking about it. Oh, but, yeah. <laughs> uh, it seems like it's um, some people are for it, some people are against it. Uh, I, again, I'm not trying to be the fashion police. I'm just trying to make it so people wear the appropriate attire when they're doing their job. And I don't think that's I think, unreasonable. I, I, it, it, I think the best point uh, Simone made here is that it's a matter of public safety. Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, for uh, to assist the police officers in identifying the threat, if there is, you know, for example, there's a fuck ton of Group Six robberies, you know, there's a fuck ton of sanitation robberies, and people taking people hostage on the fucking street just trying to do their job. You know, it helps them identify the uh, threat uh, with a little bit of gentle urging in the way of a fine if they don't do it from the government. I think it's a great idea. I'm I'm okay with uh, piling on the uh, regulate the Group Six workers given their. Uh economic status <laughs> yeah, okay say, yeah, so other state runs I'm, I'm like really on the fence about so what yeah, you're saying I'm is not that trying we... to see people in mini skirts and stilettos cutting down trees though so like i get that yeah. well it's, it's either that or requires like a hazardous mm -hmm. environment you want to have the the proper attire um so yeah i get we're that. not enacting epa should we really be enacting osha <laughs> I, I tend to agree, like, it just becomes who decides that, you know? Like, uh, some things are obviously absurd, but what if a cop decides that something that's a little bit ambiguous is, is too much, so they charge someone with it? Take it to court. Everyone else? I mean, yeah. You know, yeah, if, I if, guess, if, if, if someone If someone's in the police force is overstepping their bounds, uh, well, people go to traffic court all the time, you know? Yeah. It, it, it's just a matter of... Um, yeah, but like a uh, traffic court, you know, it's, it's usually a lot more cut and dry. They just need proof of whether or not they're speeding or not. Like, you take a picture of the outfit, you bring it. Whether fashion, I, I <laughs> the, so. then Cops, the judge yeah, becomes the fashion literally judge. Become fashion police. Yeah, hey, That's look, crazy. man, fuck it, <laughs> fuck it, dog, fuck it. That is you pretty know. fun. Uh, you yeah. want to have fashion court? I mean, if fashion that court. Issue, we could should always even... revisit it, right? I yeah. have a perfect judge for fashion court. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's this there's this guy Jerome Henry Jackson. I don't know if you oh, met yeah. him. Fuck I, met, oh my I, God. I, I met Jerome. I, I, don't like I met him. Jerome. Jerome could run fashion court in his sleep. 
He absolutely could. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Why not? All right. If, the, if this turns out to be too draconian or the cops are too inept to actually enforce this, we can revisit this. But for now, let's give it a fucking shot. Uh, all on the Drip Act. Any nays? No. Motion passes it, seven is. to one. <laughs> Wait, what did you say, Philippa? I was just saying, I'll go with it as is. Fuck it. We can test it out. I okay. like giving things a try. Yeah, if you read the last part, it it's mm-hmm. up for amendment or revisiting or revisions exactly. I mean, etc like there's anything nothing anything set in is, stone so. so yeah if we mm-hmm. if we feel like it's too much or too little it can be changed i mean fuck i have to shut down our doctors wearing dumb shit way too often <laughs> so I, I get it as long as i don't have to oversee where the fashion court i'm a yay <laughs> nah, you, you'll be fine i'll do that i'll okay. to fuck seven, seven to one Yep. Uh, the drip Perfect. act passes. Yeah, sure. Uh, hey, by the way, I, I had to change the language, uh, so just make sure you're all on the same page on this. Uh, it uh, said, uh, or possession of any Group 6 worker. I changed it to any Group 6 worker who is currently on duty making a secured financial delivery. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Because I, I don't want them being like, well, I got robbed I and I'm a Group 6 six guy. Yeah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. Blah. No, that's not how that works. Okay. Uh, next, Mike. Uh, yeah, so the other one is the VDM mandate. Uh, it's Crane. Do you remember when we removed the charts where cops could basically charge if you were missing a door, bonnet, uh, whatever? If your vehicle was on the vehicle, has charge. never I remember that one. I, in, in my time, I don't know if that's ever existed. That may have been before, it, my it, time. It, it was before your yeah, time. Yeah, okay. that was a very long time ago. Uh, so I actually have questions about this especially given i don't know the current state of things mm. like uh not to be that person but headaches bubbles things of that nature that doesn't matter you know? no 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 that so, should not ever like be part how, of the discussion. no it's not it's okay. not okay so so like at how, first how how yeah okay at first uh i had it in there that if you're missing a door specifically for a g6 vehicle or a um, rhyme truck because they are transporting shit and if they missing they're missing a door that means they don't care about their job and people just run up and snatch shit. I've removed that meaning that if you are driving a vehicle that gives the uh, PD a how the fuck did I say it again a possible possible co- no that's not it. It gives them a reason for a stop. Yeah, what you're basically at. that they can use that your your shit bucket is missing doors bonnets uh, whatever and <laughs> they can just make the assumption okay. based on that that you're not taking care of your vehicle. That mm-hmm. gives them a reason to look under the hood. So we're not charging them for driving a shit bucket that looks like shit, but we're looking at the in uh, interior... Is it interior? Fuck, I'm cooked. We're looking at the uh, parts in the car. So brakes, uh, engine, etc. Internal, that's the one. The we're yes. looking under the hood. Basically. Because... We're not charging them for driving a car with missing uh, doors. We're driving, or we're charging them for not taking care of their vehicle. In the long run, say, and again, I hate the fact that I, I have to use percentage, but the, the current tool will tell you that your vehicle is in bad condition when it's 75% or below. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and it hurts my soul. Uh, but that's very, like, it's between 50 to 75%. That's bad condition, quote unquote. I feel like that's too much. Basically, that's when you're driving around with like a smoking engine. And no, 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 no. It's gonna catch fire, no, right? No, it, it. The smoking engine is if you drive like a like a psycho and you keep hitting shit. At some point, it's gonna start smoking. But right. you can still, in theory, look under the the hood, and your car is in theory still okay. So you would not get charged for that. Obviously, you sh- your car shouldn't be smoking. You should go to most of these have that fixed or have somebody look at it. But yeah. It is a it's a more fair way to charge people for not taking care. In this case, it's only work vehicles as a start, but it's to make sure that people take care of it. Like if you drive around with shut out brakes, at some point you won't be able to brake and you're going to hit somebody or you're going to send yeah. it over, you know, somebody jaywalking, even though it might be legal now. Uh, it's stuff like that. If your frame is bent, that is dangerous. Like it's all the small things. Engine is about to fucking blow up, catching on fire. You might take uh, take out the mayor. You know, he might randomly be there as your car catches on fire and explodes. Are uh, 
are they towing it if it's a bad uh, condition? I see here it's just like mm. warnings being issued at the bottom. No, it's not being towed. So uh, it, I made it into a three warning system. The first time they get a warning, they have to get it sorted in a, in a week, basically. Because again, it's bad condition, but it's not terrible or a, a extreme bad condition. So it's to the point where you need to get it fixed because it could get worse. And then if you get caught a second time without having it fixed, that's when we, you know, uh, at $1,500 fine and two points. Again, these are just kind of pla placeholder numbers, so. so the, now cops or mechanics and no, 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 no. Because if you keep reading, <laughs> it says that they have to call a mechanic to make, to check it. If there's no mechanic available, they can use a tool to check uh, the current status, have to make sure they document it, and then go from there. That's the that that is the biggest issue with that uh, mandate right now. Do PD pay the mechanics, or is PD uh, able to use? Because all they do is just plug a, a tool in that reads you know, that reads the error codes. Mm -hmm. Like even PD could do that, but at, at the same time, you would make sure you know you have a professional to do it first, right? But who is paying for that? Is it PD that pays the mechanics for the reading, or? I, mean, I, I guess my, my question, this is like specifically towards Dakota, like, uh, is, mm -hmm. don't, don't you want to try to keep people off scenes? Like, are you guys really going to be wanting to call and wait for a, a basically a third party mechanic to get there to make things more complicated and trust their readout? Yeah, well, that's another thing, yeah. Yeah. I like the idea of this, yeah. but I think given, especially right now, the current state of car repair prices and I, the whatnot, I think it's a little <sighs> we need to do something about that but before I, we can I, I get put that. more pressure on mechanics. Yes, I get that, but while I was writing this, I was writing it in, in the mindset that this is a thing that we can make sure you know, to people that they keep, I get that the prices are going up and they keep going up, but while writing this, that is not my problem. You know, because, and don't get me wrong, I, I get your point, but the prices of parts go up and down. If I wrote this two weeks ago, the prices probably wouldn't have been a problem. And maybe the price is going to go back down in two weeks. We don't know. Yeah, I think if people can't afford car ownership, I, I think that's very unfortunate for them. But, uh, you know, uh, Maximilian Angel runs a taxi service, right? right. Like, but then, so, okay. Um, what about uh, the emergency services vehicles? Mm -hmm. So if I work a couple of hours and get my AMBO repaired at the end of my shift, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes, you know, a one across is going to cost me $1,500 and I've just literally Edda, worked to fix it. Please. Limbo. I get your concern. I, I, I get that it's a problem at this current time. If I use right. that as a, as a thing when I'm writing something, then I might as well just not write it. That's just no. I'm just saying, like this is this is what we're going to hear. If, yes. If we if we push this, so. I I know. And I, again, I'm. We can always wait till we think the prices are better, if that's uh, the way to go about it. But if we are using the prices that are fluctuating, going up and down, it will now be a problem down the line. Maybe not, and then maybe it'll be a problem again, because we are not I in control of the prices. They are. I, I, yeah, I, like, I hear what you're saying. I like the legislation. Uh, the, the one thing I, I would change in order to get me personally on board with this is instead of uh, instead of making it like a, a, a third party mechanic, leave it completely up to the uh, the LEOs, shall we say. And if internally they want to have like mechanic deals or high, have like a specific like police designating mechanic, like I, I think that's all on, on them to implement. I just think the logistics of calling people up, holding someone, detaining someone for you know, five to ten minutes just to get their car checked. I, I think that's a little unreasonable. But I think if a PD have a tool or if they have uh, someone on their force who is trained on speed dial to come by, I, I think that's all perfectly fine. Uh, counterpoint, we already enacted legislation that detains, like, truck drivers and stuff for 10 to 15 minutes while their uh, cargo manifest gets checked. I, uh, I, 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 I think, though, the when you... 
I think checking a cargo manifest, that's all something that the PD does, and that's why I, I'm okay if this is all being a, a PD procedure. I, I just think the times might get a little too much for a standard stop I when am, you're looping in third-party yeah. mechanics and just scrolling through the yellow pages. If it's all an internal PD thing and it's just on the radio, hey, any uh, you know, certified mechanics, you know, or, or however the, the PD want to implement it, right? I, I, yeah. I think that that's fine. I, I just don't like bringing third parties onto scenes. That is that is a fine, and that is a valid concern, and I, I basically just wrote it the way I did to cover everything because I felt like um, having PD do it themselves, somebody's going to complain, and that's why I just wrote it in there. So can we just can we make it like a little simpler, like just like a fix it thing, like uh, PD has the authority to basically under the act find people for not having a roadworthy vehicle, mm -hmm. but they also are instructed they have the discretion to give them a warning to go fix it, and if they see them again with it, they'll charge them. I mean, yeah, that's that's fine too. That's how it was. I think I wrote it the first time around, and then I made it into a three strike system. And I forgot who I talked to about that. Though. I think we keep shit simple. Yeah, personally. I'm I'm fine. I'm fine with that. The, the entire point is just that they should fix their vehicle. If it's a shit bucket, and looks like a shit bucket, they're probably not fixing their shit, and they they should. That was kind of the end of it. Again, it's it's yeah. No, I get it for that reason. It's limited to work vehicles right now, but in theory, it could be rolled out to be all vehicles. All right, so is the uh, I mean I, I'm fine with that too. Is the consensus then to try and uh, pull this all down to like a one paragraph unwar unroadworthy vehicle charge like back in the day? Then is that I uh, I think it works because unroad unroadworthy vehicle didn't work back in the day because you could see one thing on the exterior and somebody could see something else. This right, is Stanley. internally, and then that's that's the same for everybody, meaning that now we can actually crack down on it. Yes, so I, yeah, I, I would like bring, agree. Bring back the charge, but make it about the internal components, yes. not the external ones. Correct. Okay. Wait, what? Sorry, I missed something. What internal components? <laughs> like the actual engine parts, the brakes, the transmission, things like that, instead yeah, of like focusing like more on like the damage. doors and hood yeah. and stuff like that. The reason we're using that crane as the baseline is because, like, you can walk up to a car, you can see that something is wrong, and I might not see that, but the internals will be the same for you and for me. The exterior condition is the RS for the stop, and then the, the charges, I guess, yes. like, that gives you the PC to check the internals yep. and, and whatnot. Yep. Yeah, I'd also like to say, in order for a vehicle to get down to the levels that this is talking about, you really have to be negligent with... Uh... Mm, you say that. As I was writing this, I was out checking a, a garbage truck that was sitting around 50. Across and I, the bet board. That gar wow. I bet that garbage truck has <laughs> never seen a repair shop. No, and oh, that's why yeah. like this is extreme. And it, again, it yeah, can yeah, be yeah. tweaked. I just threw some numbers in there that I think was all right. If we go by the standard that... Uh, if a part is a bad condition, that would mean 50 to 75%. Anything yeah, like in between that, that range, which is uh, quite a big, you know. Gap. I agree. Yeah. I was just saying it to like reassure people if they were okay. having it, because it's not like a, uh, you know, it's not like if I went out for a, an eight hour shift and then I went back to PD and I checked how my engine was looking, it wouldn't be remotely close to anything that this would suggest. Hmm. So it's not a. Yeah. It okay. wouldn't be like a finicky thing if that if that makes sense, Edda. Yeah, no, I get that. Uh yeah, N having it explained that way, yeah. No, I I'm for it uh if we like narrow it down. Yeah. So if we simplify it, we use the old charge of uh, unroadworthy vehicle and then obviously make some uh, changes, I guess. And yeah. Would this be uh the equivalent of like a, a traffic citation then and they you know, if you just keep getting caught with it, they just keep stacking it. Is that... yeah, honestly, I mean, that... I would say sense. yes. Yeah, yeah, just keep charging them until they get it fixed. Yeah, that's fair. So would we do one warning, and then second offense still would be a fine mm -hmm. and a... I think I mean, it's on where, discretion, right? That's where PD discretion is. Yeah, like, you, you yeah. give traffic warnings all, all the time, you know? Well, no, no, I'm just saying it because it is literally spelled out in here. I'm trying oh. to figure out if we're going to break from this or if we're going to keep it similar that's what my question was sounds I, I, like we're adjusting it basically. for section Maybe. for section three that was my only thing yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, no, we're, I'm we're changing that. of it yeah okay and I'm, I'm fine with it being discretion so i have no issue with that i just wanted to make sure i was i was following correctly yep 
so I think TLDR is that we are changing it so it's not a three strike. It is at the P PD's discretion, whoever pulled them over. Uh, and it's, are we keeping the, the percentage? I, I know nothing about uh, it. Yeah, I know yeah, nothing about it. I have to throw my hands up. 60 seems ridiculously low, so okay. I feel like that it is, is fair. Uh, uh, in, in all my time as a mechanic previously, I very rarely ever saw vehicles that low. So 65. people are holding a relatively, you know, regular schedule for their maintenance, then they'll never get that low. All right. Well, in that case, I'd say we up it to 65 and feel like it might be a sweet spot. And then that's about it play around with it and i guess nakota can come back with feedback in a yep. couple sessions with yeah. how it's going absolutely all right uh, really quick since yep. we wrapped the oh let's do the vote first sorry max is all in favor yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry i sorry oh sorry let's do it this way all not in favor the motion passes unanimous uh real quick okay um the gondola is in so on the updated 65. charge proposal document uh i've enacted the manufacturer moonshine the robbery security firm and the possession security firm cash uh those are uh i've i've normalized the fines so what i've done is robbery security firm is 60 and six thousand dollars is the all-in but then what i've done is is i've escalated the financial institution to 100 months ten thousand dollars uh, to okay. scale comparing to a uh, security firm versus the bank itself. Uh, and then I've written the umbrella. I've, if anyone can like logic check what I've done for the umbrella charges, I think it makes sense, but I may have missed something. So I please feel, help me. I feel like anything. the drip drip mandate is going to be a bigger uh, and then issue. Possession security firm cash. I, feel, feel like I don't know anything about, about what forms they take. What is group six rolled cash? Is that, is that a thing? Yeah, we found that uh, on people. So it has like a it has a tag for group six on it. Correct. Okay. Cool. Um. So those three uh, tampering with an HVAC slash turbine unit. Uh. I, I don't. I'm not sure about that one. Um. What what is that crime, Nakota? Can you? Uh, these no, are no, crimes no, no. The where pets, the pets uh, we're getting issue. suspicious. Uh, trust you know, me, I... Grandma calls us and says that bro, she's bro, trust seeing me. some suspicious <laughs> activity. Me, we respond. Uh, typically, when we show up on scene, there will be a very loud uh, alarm going off if we're there too, sometimes too late. If we get there early, typically we'll see someone on a rooftop or multiple people on a rooftop. They are... Trust me, bro. Uh, visibly uh, tampering with something. Sometimes it's an HVAC unit. Sometimes it's a turbine unit. They then remove forcefully parts from inside said unit and uh, attempt to flee. decision about private businesses? Uh, um, I think you should go back like and see when the, the meeting the, started. The butt of this. Isn't this what we kind of discussed? It's after still being worked on. Yeah, I which know. I would love to hear your your. Yeah, on it, to be I honest. don't know if it made its way up to Ukraine, but uh, Hallow had a, a bench trial around all this, and the uh, the general consensus was, uh, you know, we could just retool the, so, yeah. the stolen goods. Again, the reason I'm doing this isn't because I want to. It's because people are being dumb and lazy, and it doesn't make sense in roleplay. So this is a way in roleplay to try and force people to do something. To just possession of stolen goods yeah i will say uh, my uh my goal with that charge like i don't want to enforce what people wear i don't want to tell people that they should wear something but when you work at a job you should dress for that job that's just it's not unreasonable it's not unreasonable in character it's not unreasonable out of character the entire thing that you're trying to min max and part of your min maxing is to not dress up is fucking dumb. Of that, but um, is this will... really a big enough deal that we need an umbrella charge for yes. HVAC this is tampering? The most, this is the most common crime that is occurring in the city at the moment. I really what? I I will agree with Nakota, but disagree about the implementation. I think that instead of a whole new charge of uh, <laughs> of that, you shouldn't you it be just, just retooling the property? existing charge of possession of stolen goods to cover the HVAC? So systems. the axe you charge them for the trespassing, vandalism, theft. Correct. Uh, requisiting, resisting, and then 
uh, if they're found with these outside of the act, you just we implement the possession. Wouldn't it be just grand death? Correct, because uh, whenever you find these parts, we have not uh, found one instance ones. where there weren't signs that they were forcefully removed from okay. the unit. Anybody against yeah, exactly. me changing possession of stolen goods enforce? to be more it's generic to encompass it. things like HVAC units? I'm, I'm for that. People care yeah, all about money. Or... Okay, I will do that. So having a fine for not wearing a fucking uniform 